comic book artists are highly creative people. I think the number one thing that a comic book artist has to do is persuade people. Persuade people to read a page and then turn the page. We get a lot of student feedback that, that they uh, enjoy uh, the experience of learning about uh, combining words and pictures. I'm here at Rice University to facilitate a workshop that talks about the fundamentals of comic book storytelling and how students can use those fundamentals to help better communicate their science. I think that it's the, goal, it's the number one goal in the workshop is make something just to make something. Um, the act of creating a thing and in the workshop we're just you know talking about the fundamentals of drawing and, and visual storytelling. I really appreciated when Maris said that we shouldn't be afraid of simplicity or we shouldn't look down on simplicity. Sometimes the most effective way to communicate what you are intending to communicate is the simplest way. The thing that surprised me the most especially learning about comic book is actually learning that like all the words in a comic book are mostly handwritten and it's called lettering which I would I interpret it as like drawing letters. I think for me it also again like broadens my horizons and um, and provides like a new perspective on like an art form that I had always like known about but wasn't really familiar with and also like the potential in that to tell story. If you don't see the big picture you're going to miss something so I think it's important to acknowledge the intersection of these different subjects that we usually think of as separate because they're not. Pushing people to think outside of the box they're comfortable in leads to better problem solving and critical thinking.